Okay, so now I'm going to show you the best part about being a car photographer or car videographer. <laughs> Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to shoot 10 shots using this Fujitech Score Pro. And this video is actually sponsored by them. They were kind enough to send me this one. So we're gonna try it out today. We got this Porsche Macan Turbo. Gonna try to get some shot of it. And I'm gonna show you 10 ways to get some interesting cinematic shots for car videos. Thank you to Fujitech for sending me this one and sponsoring this video. So let's start with the first one. Putting the gimbal into Pan, tilt and follow, so every move I do, the gimbal will follow, so for this one I'm gonna point my camera down. Press play, and then just go up. So with this one, I'm gonna go with a rim, a rim shot, and I'm gonna point my camera as I want it. Then use pan and follow. You just go back and slowly reveal in the car. And if you're shooting cars, don't forget your CPL filter. I'm gonna show you here in a second. This is without. You see all the reflections. And when I turn it, all the color come back to the car and the reflection go away. So if you shoot cars, you need a CPL filter, it will look way, way, way better. Put it in lock mode. Then just go from one side to the next side. Just try to keep it level to the car, not going up and down. It looks better when the light is on, then you get some, some uh, light streaks pointed to the camera. So for the next shot, I'm gonna try, try to use the FPV mode. I have never used it, but let's try it. I'm gonna go for a rim to rim shot. I'm gonna start from here. Showing off. So for this one, I really liking the building in the background instead of this containers. So I'm gonna put it in pan and follow. And I'm using 60 frames per second, so I get some slow-mo. This is really nice with this handle. I can easily see my image with the monitor. Then point it slightly up, then just going and showing off the side of the car. Uh, 
and for this one I'm gonna use the joystick and start where I want the, the shot to end so just right there push play or record just go back and now when I reverse this shot it will be perfect the focus will be on the headlight or the backlight I'm gonna use this as a foreground I think it will look really really good point it here and then I will use first autofocus to get it in focus and then just put on manual box now I will do the same I will put it in log mode so the camera don't move then just go out slowly revealing the side of the car so for this one I'm using pen and follow just pulling back So now I have taken away this handle to get easy access to the window because this will stand up like that. So the sick part about this gimbal, I can still use it because this got a battery and that one got a battery. So even if I take this away, I can still use the gimbal with the, this one really sick but now I put my camera into 30 frames per second because my camera has a crop in 60 so I want the full 24 millimeter to get as wide as possible now I'm gonna reach in and from here can I get really low like brick then slowly getting out of the car. So now I'm gonna point my camera here, set it to manual focus. Just like that. And then go from this, just slowly revealing the interior and here I'm also using pan and tilt so I can go showing off the first side then just slowly tilt it and then go behind the next next head guard neck guard or what do you call it this go from this side to that side and then using this maybe as a transition As you maybe know if you did was watch this video it's not a review video and I'm just showing 10 shots that will have help you get more cinematic shots of your car or when you're out shooting cars so if you want a full review on this gimbal please let me know in the comments down below and 
I will make one for you because this gimbal is maybe small and compact but it can take a lot of payload and it has some nice features. See you in the next one.